Today I'm going to be showing you all how I built my winch on my Murray that you might have seen in one of my earlier videos. I just saw a request about wanting to know how I built it, so here it is. Okay, as you, to build this thing, first you're going to need to get some transmission that you're really not wanting to use anymore, or a gearbox. What I used for mine is a forward and reverse transmission out of an MTD. So it's only got a forward, neutral, and reverse. It's just changed by this little part right here. So on this, I, I'll show you on a, this transmission here. Yes, this one's a lot bigger, but it's still the same idea. What I did on the other one is you're going to want to measure out how wide it is between your rear bumper. Like little support to support or whatever you're mounting it onto and you're going to want to have the axle exposed that much out of the actual casing so what I did on this one I I don't know let's just call it 10 inches so I need 10 inches exposed so once I I only need that so there has to be a part of this axle exposed as right here for this cable to be able to roll up on and this side has to be well you are gonna have to weld it completely solid on here so that the spider gears and the differential will cause this side to spin as you crank the input shaft so what you're going to want to do if unless you it already fits is you're going to have to take a transmission you're gonna to have to cut off this whole ends of the casings and just leave this inside part and just have a little bit exposed on this outside so it'll be exposed like right there so you can um, have somewhere to you have to tack weld a cable on there or some well not really tack weld you need to weld it nice and hot but so that you'll have something for it to coil up on. But it has to be hot enough because all that cranking, there's a lot of weight you can do with this because it takes so long. It's like seven turns of this for one of this on this particular transmission. So on this, I welded that solid, like I said. And after cutting these, that's these axles ends used to come out to like out this way on each side but I cut them completely off this one I just left just enough where I could weld it and this side I had to leave probably three or four inches but there's not very much exposed right here is because another main part I have is this this right here this is a pipe a piping in of a three-quarter inch inside diameter of this. So like say your shaft's a one inch or so, you're going to want to have it just on this inside like so that's a pipe so that it's able to free spin because you don't not want to weld this and the axle because it has to be able to spin to wind up the cable. The reason for the pipe is to support it to keep your transmission from pulling forward. So you're going to, well that give it something to spin side. may put a little bit of grease in there but your welding's going to smoke a bunch. And that side just weld solid, and you don't need anything else other than to make contact with the metal and weld it completely solid, and your winch should be complete, pretty much. What I did for the top is I took another piece of pipe, like the same pipe I cut off the little part here to for the axle to spin inside. So I added a little bit onto here, so that I'd have some room to spin it. And I just bent a piece of metal and made a little hand crank works pretty good I can lift the whole weight of the tractor like up in the air if I felt like I could just wrap that cable up in the tree above me and pull my mower up you just gotta make sure it's sturdy so it doesn't break out on the trail because then you're the only difference then is you're stuck with a broken winch also also on these you're gonna have it pop up and you can't really weld these aluminum casings to steel or anything you can either bolt this down, but I just welded a piece of pipe going over the top of here and a piece of angle iron because there's, as you can see, there's a little bit of flat surface up there, and as you crank a lot of weight, 
that wants to pull up. So just add that up on there and your winch should be complete. If you have any further questions about this, just leave a comment below and I'll try and answer them.